going to make some of my favorite little earrings that I've made before. And it starts out, you're going to need two strings. It doesn't matter which thickness. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this in half. It depends how thick you want it. You can use a whole string. Just make sure you find its pair up there two strings. I'm just going to do a circle. Just going to make two circles for this first piece. Leave a little extra here so I can make some detail loops to close it off. And I'm going to have it about that big. Use this other side so I can complete that. I want it to be as thick as I can get it. Making sure we're tight, I'm going to close this off. back one right there and only doing one set. Just keep it very simple. So four, I'm going to keep it at four. Mm -mm. Well, it would have been possibly better to have measured my other string while I did this, but that's okay. Or before I finish that, I'm going to decide which side I want my front and back to be. I feel like this is the front. I'm going to just leave those for now. Ordinarily, I would just clip them, but I want to size and make sure I match this one first. And remembering, yeah, that's pretty good because I <clears throat> use a little bit to do I should have enough. I'm just looking at my tail, making sure it was similar to the other.
looks pretty good. We'll see in a second. If you count the number of times you go around, if it helps, typically knows where it's going to go, but you do want to keep making sure that you get them properly aligned. Like there. Like I could go around like that, but that would not be a correct placement. Here's where it got weird on the last one, so I did this. And I'll do that again. And I believe that's also where I started the wrap. <clears throat> it was right there. And I could copy it just like this. What I'm gonna look for though, that is my front. I would like to, if I can, mirror it. So. Like I could just copy it right here, but instead I'm going to flip it over. Mm, just the way it's, I always do this. I always would love to mirror it, but it, <laughs> the way that the string wraps, it just doesn't always work and I could probably play with it and try to make it work but not tonight so I will just match it instead with four loops And I didn't check. They feel good. Do the feel test before I look at it. Sometimes I gotta adjust the circle. Look pretty good, I think. Good enough for now. So I'm gonna cut these now. Remembering which is your front, which is your back. I might say that a lot. It's important. happened here.
just enough room so I can wrap it around the back. That's why I say watch your front, watch your back, so you don't cut it too short. This one I'm going to cut right here. solder there and there. See, I want them to be both on the back, but also as aligned as they can be. Okay. <clears throat> Have our two little pieces. Kind of sticking out there. I will probably mess with that later. Okay. And then the next piece is going to be a string, a thinner gauge. process, cut it in half, or have two that are of likeness, and we're going to do the same exact thing, wrap it in a circle, and attach it to this other circle so that they dangle together, and we're going to include something else to dangle. So two things. When you are specifically making these pieces, this might sound silly, but make sure that when you are doing this part, you pick up your piece and you pick up your gear and that's how you make it. <laughs> I swear I have made them just making this into a circle and realizing that I never attached it to this piece. It happens. So, <clears throat> that being said, you'll make your circle with this higher string with the gauge on it already. You're going to work around it, through it. I am going to make this smaller on this side or under this then this circle making the circle smaller than this circle however small you would like or you could do it large even it might look cool I haven't done that I'm going to do And you can make these dangles uh, limitlessly with however many circles hanging down, however you want to do it, with or without a gear detail. So all you're going to do is just thread that gear, whatever you use, a bead, stone, gear, it doesn't matter. You'll just keep threading it so it will stay in the center. And I'm going to make this string as thick as I can with as much string as I have. I'm looking to see whether I like the length, not length, but the width of the circle.
going, watching to make sure that my loops are going in smoothly. When strings become smaller, these higher strings become smaller like this, they become fingers become easy targets, I'll put it that way. And it is sharp and it does hurt sometimes. A little shockingly so, but it's okay. You can just be careful. Feel the rush, whatever you're into. Just kidding. All right. what it's going to look like. I haven't made one of these in years. I haven't made one of these in years. <laughs> I'll say again, my sister tells me I need to speak up. I'm not really a talker when I'm doing this. It doesn't quite feel natural. That's why I often can't think of words and just normal speech patterns. Okay. I think I want to make any detail loops on this guy. So, like here, I was about to push that through with my finger. Just don't even do that, maybe. <laughs> um, it feels like it's very easy to do, but I, I would have poked my finger if I hadn't thought about it right at the last second. Okay, I am going to leave them like this. And I'll snip here. I'll catch the other piece up real quick. I'm gonna get into the habit of not finishing pieces if I don't complete them all. So I'm gonna do it right now. You can skip forward. so it secures it a little more, maybe twice for good measure, literally. Nope, it's a little big, I can see that. Uh, oftentimes when you're just even doing that, it will loosen up. So I put these higher strings and working them in a small circle like this, I'll use this the needle nose to kind of hold it in place. It helps the grip and the pressure. And kind of eyeball it. I'm holding that the base initial loops. 
so I can better see it, better see what's going on. It looks a little big. Now when you're doing this, it's going to loosen even more if you're not too careful. If you're not careful. pieces. I'm going to do this a little tighter, knowing that it's probably going to undo a little bit. Looks pretty good. I guess I could measure it with something like centimeters or something if I had that but I don't so I'm not gonna use this I always have everything you need
Come in. Even if you're using two different strings, it's good to make sure they're the same size, at least before starting your wrap, because, you know, I don't have to think about how many times I wrapped around this. I just know that I can keep going until I reach the end. That one looks a little smaller. Kind of like it a little bit smaller, but we're good here. Wonder if this. So I just undid that on that side and rewrapped the other one there because that had this weird bend and this one was so snug. I think maybe I overwrapped it one and it wasn't necessary or I just, uh, I think I curved it is what happened. So I wanted, I want this flush, flushness here. I'm gonna go back and redo that one, but I like this one at the size it is, so I will work and finish on him. I'm gonna cut these very close to where um, I usually leave a little more than that until I solder it, but I'll just show you. I usually leave those little wings until I solder so that these stay put while I'm either continuing the work or just in general. Make sure that they don't slip out. But we can just put them back if they do. Not a big deal. So, this is your little earring. And just keep going. I will put an earring back on it. I didn't prepare that string, so... I'm gonna throw it into nice 
in half. I'm going to put him right on. So you'll figure out where you want your bend, how long you want the piece. And I'm going to do this together. one side longer than the other, the shorter side determining how long you want it to hang. I want these to dangle a little bit, so we can always make it shorter. Let's try about there. So on the, the longer side, mark where you want it to hang from the length and paper clip your earring back, setting aside one at this point if you did them together. Hoop loop. Making sure that it's large enough for the width. And you're going to take the front of your piece, put it on here. It should be facing, this is the front of the earring back. Very important. Okay. Might be a little long, but it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to tighten him now. Sometimes, like how I just did that, it, this is this loop is sort of offset to the side. I could have it hang a little straighter. I think it just always does that. I'm gonna hold the grip, the hoop loop connector, and then wrap it around. Careful not to turn this piece too much. You can always adjust back. to do two or three. Now we're here. And I'm going to do one more just to get it. I have plenty of string to work with, really is what it is. And I want to get it a little higher.
and you have as many notches as you prefer. You want to take it and from the outside, as in the string is wrapping here to the outside, so I'm going to fold back towards the inside of which way I was turning. You want to give yourself enough space here It's nice to have a nice long tail to be able to work with. I think this is too long. I'm going to shorten it. Mostly just need to have a good hook there. It's a little more difficult than the short, but I like the way that looks. It looks more. I'm going to give a pretty good amount to the hook, just enough. And shape it however you like. This, I don't know if you can tell, it's not like perfectly aligned straight here. It's something more that I can feel than I can see. Baby. Baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. out where you want. <laughs> Hi. I have a very vocal kitten at the moment. Almost finished. Figure out where you want it to enter the ear. Flyways, there you have your earring. Oh shit. <laughs> Baby, hold on. I'm done. Oh, there's your earring. <laughs> and you can solder. Oh, come here. You want to see what I'm doing? So. Yes, you would solder here, here, and on both pieces there. And then you have your ear. Okay. And then you're going to cross and do it. 